Alright guys, in this video what I want to do is I want to talk to you about some problems that we have with string links and some things that you definitely want to look out for if you don't want your program to crash. So let's go ahead and create a simple array and we'll say that we're going to store the name of a movie. doesn't really matter what. And um, so we have that and then we'll put char, we'll make a pointer to it, all the stuff we learned in the last couple videos. And remember, whenever you... um set a pointer equal to an array do not use that ampersand because the name of your array is already a memory address so don't do it twice or you're gonna mess some crap up but anyways we already know what those lines do no need for explanation the point of this tutorial is this right now we have an array that holds 20 characters 20 items but what if we're making a program where we let the user enter the name of a movie and their title has more than 20 characters well then you're gonna have a really bad time because some really messed up stuff is gonna happen. What's gonna happen is it's gonna to try to store that title, that long title, and in the process it can overwrite some of your data that's already in your memory because it's storing stuff that you didn't reserve space for in your memory. So what we need to do is we need to allow kind of um, a check and balance just in case the user doesn't follow directions or accidentally enter something longer than 20 characters and that is this little function right here it's f gets now I'll explain exactly what this uh, does but basically the job of the function is to take input from the user from the keyboard and if they enter more than a certain amount it just cuts it off for example put p movie 20 and put STD in and I'll explain to you guys what this means right now. So just like gets, it pretty much gets input from um, the keyboard. And this standard in right here, that just means standard input. In other words, the standard input from your computer is your keyboard. Um, other types of input could be like from a file or on the, from the internet if you're using like another program language. But anyways, that's what that means right here. Now what these parameters mean is pretty much store it in right here so store the data in pmovie and also this 20 means this is the maximum amount of characters that we're gonna store in pmovie if they enter a really long title then take what's ever at the end and just cut it off so you only get the first 20 characters no matter what so now we can just do something to display that like puts pmovie and whenever I do check this out I'm gonna run this and we don't have any prompts but pretty much it's saying okay give me the title of a movie I'll put something right real right long like Bucky is awesome at programming and he likes dumplings you know probably a movie that I would definitely see in theaters but hit enter and it's gonna print it out and it's gonna say Bucky is awesome at and that's it I told you you had 20 characters, so dude, you can't store any more than that or you're going to mess up the program. So again, whenever you're allowing a user to enter titles and stuff like that, make sure that you use this f gets function. If you don't, your program's going to crash, your computer's going to be ruined, and you're going to go to jail for the rest of your life. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about the heap. I'll see you then.